Here at ONS 2010 in San Diego, California, we're delighted to have with us Jill Atmore, a nurse practitioner specializing in lymphoma, and she is from the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. You are an expert in T-cell lymphoma. You've been working in it a long time. With the rising incidence of T-cell lymphoma, there's also a rising need for education on T-cell lymphoma. Can you explain more? So what's important is that the incidence of all non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is increasing. T-cell lymphoma comprises 15% of all non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. And so the research dollars and a lot of effort has gone into developing treatment strategies for B-cell lymphomas. T-cell lymphomas tend to be a little more aggressive and they don't respond in the same way that B-cell lymphomas do to chemotherapy. And a lot of thought or a lot of, there's a lot of thought that perhaps T-cell lymphomas are not as not chemosensitive and so new strategies have been developed there's a lot of research and as my as my role as a nurse practitioner in a t-cell lymphoma clinic or a non-hodgkin's lymphoma clinic is to educate patients and nurses about the differences between b and t-cell lymphoma and the new treatment modalities that are coming down the pike and new drugs that have been approved and are in clinical trials now Advancements in treatment have only helped to increase the spotlight on T-cell lymphoma. Can you talk about some of them? We recently per participated in uh, the PROPEL trial, which was a trial for patients with peripheral T-cell lymphoma uh, using the drug pralotrexate, which was recently approved for a treatment of relapse and refractory T-cell lymphoma. And in fact, it's the only drug that has been approved for uh, under that label. Um, trials are still ongoing co using combination drugs, using HDAC inhibitors. There are a lot of drug, new drugs un undergoing clinical trials, but it's exciting. I, I believe that nurses need to understand with the new drug developments and approvals of new drugs for T-cell lymphoma, again, the disease, the biology of the disease, and then what these new drugs are and what side effects you're going to see so that they can provide care to their patients, good care, comprehensive care to their patients. Where can oncology nurses go for more resources and information? There are a lot of places in the community where you can go for information on non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. T-cell lymphomas, like I said, are rare, and so there's not as much information, and that's one of the reasons um, nurses come to, to conferences like ONS, because there, there was a symposium um, this weekend on peripheral T-cell lymphomas. Um, I don't think that nurses are going to see a lot of T-cell lymphoma, and in discussing T-cell lymphomas with nurses. They may only see one or two in their practice a year, but I think the goal of education is just to make them aware that T-cell lymphomas are different. T-cell lymphomas will don't respond to conventional therapy with B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma treatments. And just to let them know that, that the research is going into developing Medicaid drugs that will treat their patients. And I think that's important. I, I understand that in my institution, where I may see 6, 10, 12 T-cell patients a, you know, a week or 4 or 5 a day, I'm a little skewed. <laughs> but I think ed nurses are always looking for education. So coming to conferences like this, accessing the Lymphoma Leukemia Society online, the National Cancer Institute online, the American Cancer Society online, those are good places to start when you're looking for information about T-cell lymphoma. Jill, coming from one of the world's most prestigious cancer centers, the fact that you come to conferences like ONS shows that you really see the value in attending. This is an incredible conference for nursing, for oncology nurses. There um, are a lot of specialized groups that within ONS. There are several journals that are published by ONS, and it's a great resource for cancer nurses. Jill, thanks for stopping by and spending a couple minutes with us and sharing your knowledge and expertise. Thank you. Jill Atmar from the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas, joining us on OncuView.tv here at ONS 2010.